Good evening. For the first time, the BBC has obtained an independent review into a death of a vulnerable young man who took his own life in supported housing. Jack Ellis died in Western Supermare two years ago. The report, which has never been shown to his family, details exactly how Jack was failed. Dick and Hooper reports. Jack Ellis was vulnerable with autism. When he was 19, he moved to supported housing in Weston, run by a company called Curo. But it wasn't a happy stay. During his six months here, Jack was attacked while he was out in Weston and he was threatened at the flat, not by staff or other residents. He also tried to take his own life here. He had a very unpleasant time there. Jack's sister doesn't want her face shown for personal reasons. Was that flat in Weston the right place for Jack? Definitely not. And he's, he says that himself in his farewell letter. You know, he said it was like a torture chain before him. Jack did take his own life here in March 2014. His mother found his body and there's evidence suggesting he'd been dead for several days. When we reported this in August, North Somerset Council and Curo told us an independent review had found Jack had considerable support with good communication between the agencies involved and no missed opportunities or warning signs in the weeks before his death. We were told it wouldn't be appropriate for us to see that review, but we got hold of a copy anyway. Yes, it does say what the council and Curo told us, but it also goes a lot further, detailing exactly how Jack was failed. He had no long-term case manager, and there was no meeting of everyone involved in his care for the two years before his death. In addition, there was confusion over who was responsible for what, and it appeared to some the teenager had fallen down the gap. Nobody actually wants to take responsibility. Rebecca hadn't been given a copy of the report, so we showed it to her. She's just recently been offered a meeting with the council to see it and have her say on what happened to her brother. Ultimately, it was Jack's decision to do what he did, uh, but uh, none of the outside agencies involved seem to want to take responsibility at all and I feel like Jack's a bit of a parcel and he's literally being passed around and nobody wants to hold on and actually say well yes wait a minute we could have done a better job here and we didn't. We understand Curo has discussed pulling out of the Western Flats. They told us they're committed to all their housing schemes and said like the council that they've carried out all the report's recommendations. But no one would do an interview and no one would answer Rebecca's question. Was the Western Flat the best place for her brother? Dick and Hooper, BBC Points West.